गुड इवनिंग एवरी वन होप यू आर डुईंग वेल इन दिस पैंडेमिक सिचुएशन एंड वेयरिंग मास्क एंड मेन्टेनिंग ए सोशल डिस्टेंसिंग टूडे आई एम हेयर उथ एम सी क्यू टेस्ट सीरीज टू कन्सिस्टिंग ऑफ टेन एम सी क्यू क्वेश्चन ऑफ इंट्रोडक्शन टू केमोथेरापिटिक एजेंट्स द एम एंड ऑब्जेक्टिवस ऑफ दिस टेस्ट सीरीज इट विल हेल्प द स्टूडेंट्स फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ जी पैट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ एडमिशन टेस्ट फॉर द एंट्री ऑफ एम फॉर्म कोर्सेस फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ जिलेट एग्जामिनेशन फॉर द एंट्री इन टू सेकेंड ईयर लैटरल एंट्री फॉर जॉब इंटरव्यूज फॉर फार्मासिस्ट जॉब एग्जामिनेशन एंड सेमिस्टर एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ द स्टूडेंट्स नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू द क्वेश्चन ईयर सेशन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू टू कीप ए पीस ऑफ पेपर एंड ए पेन विथ यू to test yourself moving on to the first question streptomycin is discovered by alexander fleming domang waxman paul ehrlich here alexander fleming discovered penicillin from penicillium notatum in the year of 1929 so this is not true domang discovered sulfonamide from the dye prontosil in 1935 so this is also not true Paul Ehrlich coined the term chemotherapy so this option is also cancelled and the remaining option that is waxman who discovered streptomycin in the year of 1940 so the correct answer is waxman that is option c moving on to the question number 2 which of the following antibiotic is not obtained from bacterial sources options are bacitracin polymyxin b griseofulvin colistin if we see that the source of bacitracin is bacillus subtilis which is the bacterial source polymyxin b is obtained from bacillus polymyxa this organism is also a bacteria griseofulvin is obtained from penicillium griseofulvum and this organism is a fungus colistin is obtained from bacillus colistinus and it is an uh, it is a bacteria so it is clear that griseofulvin is the correct answer for question number 2 next question is which of the following belongs to steroidal antibiotic gentamicin rifampicin sodium fusidate linezolid here gentamicin 
belongs to amino glycoside antibody so it is not true rifampicin consisting of an enzymicin structure so it is also wrong linezolid belongs to oxazolidinone structure so it is also cancelled so sodium fusidate that is option c is the correct answer for question number 3 and it contains steroidal structure that is cyclopentano parhydro phenanthrene ring cyclopentano parhydro phenanthrene ring <coughs> whose structure is This is the structure of uh, cyclopentano parhydrophenanthrene ring. Now moving uh, to the next question. What is the side effects, main side effects of amino glycoside antibody? Options are bone marrow depression, auditory nerve damage, Fanconi syndrome and hearing loss. In this question, bone marrow depression is the side effect of chloramphenicol as well as many antineoplastic agent that is anti-cancer agent. So it is not true for this question. Fanconi syndrome is the side effect of tetracycline. Hearing loss is the side effect of vancomycin. So option B is the correct answer for question number 4. In case of amino glycoside, 8th cranial nerve that is auditory nerve has been damaged and this side effect is also known as autotoxicity. Moving on to the next question. Which of the following groups of antibacterial agents, antimicrobial agents demonstrates primarily a bactericidal effects? Tetracyclines, sulfonamides, macrolides, penicillins. We know that bactericidal effect means killing of bacteria. And bacteriostatic means inhibiting the growth of bacteria. Here, tetracycline is primarily bacteriostatic agent. Similarly, sulfonamide is also bacteriostatic and macrolide is also bacteriostatic. So, penicillin, here penicillin is a uh, is the bactericidal agent. So, option D is the correct answer for question number 5. Moving on to question number 6. Which of the following antibiotics are considered as broad spectrum of antibiotics? And the options are penicillin G, streptomycin, doxycycline, erythromycin. Here broad spectrum means the agents which can act a wide variety of microorganisms. It may be against gram positive bacteria or gram negative bacteria or protozoa and many more organisms. 
here penicillin is a narrow spectrum antibiotic because it is mainly act against gram positive bacteria and few gram negative bacteria streptomycin similarly act against gram negative bacilli so it is also a narrow spectrum antibiotic erythromycin mainly acts against gram positive bacteria so it is also a narrow spectrum antibiotic so the, the remaining option that is option c doxycycline is a broad spectrum of antibiotic because it can act it can act against a wide variety of organism that is against gram positive bacteria gram negative bacteria and some protozoa etc moving on to the question number 7 which of the following antibiotic can be synthesized chemically sisomycin minocycline chloramphenicol amphotericin b here uh, the source of sisomycin is my, uh, micromonospora inoensis which is the actinomycetes source of minocycline uh, is a type minocycline is a type of uh, tetracycline and it is also obtained from uh, streptomyces genus amphotericin b is obtained from streptomyces uh, genus streptomyces nodosus Chloramphenicol is also obtained from Streptomyces venezuela. But chloramphenicol can be synthesized chemically. So, option C is the correct answer for question number 7. Next question is, which of the following antimicrobial agent or agents acts by inhibiting topoisomerase 4 enzyme etoposides topotecan ofloxacin all of these here etoposides can act by inhibiting dna topoisomerase 2 enzyme and this enzyme belongs to human cell topotecan acts can acts by inhibiting topoisomerase 1 enzyme which is also belongs to human cell ofloxacin can acts by inhibiting topoisomerase 4 enzyme and this enzyme belongs to bacteria cell so Option C will be the correct answer for this question. Here, topoisomerase 4 enzyme is also known as DNA guidase enzyme. Now, moving on to the question number 9. Which of the following antibiotics contain a beta lactam ring in their chemical structure? And the options are amoxicillin, septraction, imipenum all of these here amoxicillin belongs to penicillin and it contains a beta lactam ring septraction belongs to cephalosporin antibiotic which is also contain beta lactam ring imipenum is also contain beta lactam ring so here d will be the correct answer for this question The structure of beta lactam ring is like this. This 
this is the structure of beta lactam ring now the next question a strong post antibiotic effect has been noted with all the following except the options are quinopristine monobactams tetracyclines aminoglycoside antibiotics here we should know the term post antibiotic effects after a brief exposure if the organism is placed in antibiotic free medium then it starts multiplying again but after a lag period which depends on the antibiotic as well as the organisms this lag period in growth resumption is known as post antibiotic effects here quinopristine has the strongest post antibiotic effects monobactams has less or none post antibiotic effect tetracycline has a strong post antibiotic effect aminoglycoside antibiotic has also strong post antibiotic effect so monobactams that is option b will be the correct answer for this question for this consequence you should know that fluoroquinolone has moderate post antibiotic effects which is time dependent killing moving uh, moving on thank you for watching please subscribe my channel if you not subscribe yet like this channel and share my channel thank you again